Hello guys, this is Brian Mounts coming to you from the Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. I also run TurfMechanic.com, a lawn and garden website. Today I want to talk to you about grass and when it stops growing in the fall. You're watching this video probably either because you're a subscriber or you're just interested to learn why the grass stops growing in the fall, when it stops gr growing in the fall, and possibly how to make it grow longer into the fall, maybe get it closer to the winter season. For me, I love my lawn. I want to keep it green as long as possible into the season. Now, this is a cold season turf, and I live in a very cold winter environment, so this will not stay green all the way through the winter, but I want to get it as close to the winter as possible. Link down below in the description below, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you're going to find a link over to the Turf Mechanic website. I've got a page over there on the topic of when to stop watering your grass uh, in the fall. Um, that is not really what I want to go into here, but it is relevant, so you might want to go take a look at that. What I do want to say, however, is the grass shuts down in the fall naturally for a few main reasons. Now, of course, there's lots of reasons and there's lots of science behind them all. But generally speaking, the reason that grass shuts down is because the days are shorter. As I'm recording this, it's four, I don't know, about four, four thirty in the afternoon. And my sun is really low in the sky over there. It's going to be going down soon. It doesn't really get light until seven thirty in the morning. We've got short, um, short days and the sun is coming in on a sharp angle it's not directly pointed down at the ground if you know anything about plants or if you can recall anything about elementary and middle school science you know that plants turn green because of chlorophyll in the leaves it's basically the uh, the power system it's the uh, it's the battery it's the fuel supply um, that takes the sun's energy and makes it useful for the plant now the sunlight and chlorophyll won't do anything at all. They, they're not going to make a plant grow all on their own. You need water and you need nutrients in the plant. Of course, the plant gets the nutrients from the soil itself. And the only way it can get the nutrients out of the soil is if there's water to cause those nutrients to go out of the soil and into the root structure of the, of the plant. And grass is a plant. So in the fall, depending on your weather in the fall, the soil temperature itself makes an enormous difference in the plant's ability to absorb nutrients into the root system using the water that's there. Now, typically cold season grasses, and that's, that's my area of expertise because that's where I live and that's what I grow here at the, at the property, cold season grasses will germinate like grass seed will germinate kind of in that 45 degree range at kind of the bare minimum and we're talking soil temperatures not outside air temperatures but really the grass itself is not going to be growing unless the soil temperatures are probably in that 50 degree or higher range as the soil temperatures drop below that the plant itself really wants to start reserving its energy um, in the root structure itself. So essentially, as water goes into the soil, the roots suck up the nutrients, and instead of pushing the nutrients up into the foliage or the leaf, the actual green grass blade that we see, they, the grass plant reserves that energy in the root system, and it waits until winter is over, until desirable growing conditions come back. Now, there's nothing that we can do about the sun. As the fall progresses towards winter, we get closer to the winter solstice, the days get shorter and shorter and shorter. Because the days are short, there's not nearly enough sunlight to create enough photosynthesis effect for the grass plant to want to pull the nutrients up from the roots into the leaf itself. Now, if we can keep the ground warmer longer, and we can keep, uh, I don't want to say an enormous supply, but if we can keep an abundance of nutrient supply in the root zone, then the plant is going to want to grow longer into the season. 
essentially you want to do everything you can to keep the soil temperature warmer and you want to continually provide water and nutrients to the plant itself and if you can get rid of the clouds hey i don't know how to do it but if you know go for it when does grass stop growing it largely stops growing once the ground temperature gets below 50 especially below 45 degrees now that could be outside air temperatures significantly below that so even if your daytime temperatures are only getting to 45 or so there might still be a little bit of growth left in your grass if the soil temperatures are higher now how i combat that might be a little bit different than you can my water comes out of a well and it's not hot water but it is a uh, geothermally active well the water comes out at 80 degrees for me so when i flip my sprinkler on i'm actually sprinkling the ground with water that is warm so even if the air temperature is 40 degrees and the soil temperature may be 45 degrees if i'm able to apply warmer water to my lawn the heat transfer effect of water on the soil surface is actually going to warm the surface up a little bit now we're not talking anything dramatic but if you can get your soil from 44 degrees let's say it's seven o'clock in the morning up to 47 degrees at seven o'clock in the morning that is going to make a difference to your lawn your lawn is going to want to keep growing a little bit more than if that temperature drops ever so slightly now for me my irrigation system is spitting out 80 degree water so that's easier said for me than it is for many of you however most water systems travel under the ground enough that although they feel very cold to the touch they're not nearly as cold as you might think that they are if you are sprinkling your lawn with 65 degree water on a morning that's 40 degrees in the morning maybe 35 degrees in the morning the water is going to be warmer than the soil temperature itself and that water is going to make the soil a little bit warmer it's certainly going to warm it up faster if you want to keep your grass growing late into the fall you have to apply water to the surface on the coldest mornings every week let's say for it's not like you can water your grass every single day that's not healthy but if you can look at your forecast and identify the coldest days of the week coming up and set your sprinkler to go off on those mornings at the coldest hour you're more likely to warm the soil temperature up faster than if you just wait for mother nature and the sun to do it all by itself now again as we progress towards the month of december the days are going to continue getting shorter and shorter and you're not going to be able to continue um, forcing the grass to stay um, in growth mode uh, eventually it's going to shut down but by taking these steps and kind of understanding how it works you'll have a little bit better idea as to how to keep your grass green let's say all the way to thanksgiving instead of november 10th that's what i got for you today i want you to take a look at um, the link down below in the description that heads over to um, the turf mechanic website i think you'll find that interesting and helpful and there's definitely going to be a couple complimentary videos to this that will help you as you prepare for winter in your own lawn. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.